As a man in a relationship, you have a simple choice. You can either be right or you can be happy. <laughs> I got a great wife, and uh, I'm married way above my level. And um, when you marry above your level as a man, um, it's good that you know that. And by the way, I'm not the only one. I'm looking around here. <laughs> There's a lot of dudes who are lucky to be with the, who they're with. There's a lot of dudes in here who made way above their level. <laughs> That's right, girls, I am married. Sorry, pack up your vaginas and go home. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> None of this sweet crank for you, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my wife makes fat jokes and my friends get mad at me. They're like, dude, you should talk to her, dude. When she makes crack about your man boobs, you know, your movies, you know, dude. That's just disrespectful, dude. I'm like, bro, I don't care. <laughs> I have sex with her. It's cool. <laughs> Isn't that right? That's, that's how I think about it. Yeah, it's great, man. <laughs> it's awesome. My friends don't get it, though. They're like, dude, you're so whipped. I'm like, yeah. Because you can either be whipped or you can be hand whipped. Do you understand? <laughs> I let things go, man. I let things go. You know, uh, before, I, before we were married, my father gave me some advice. My father, he, he didn't make it to see the wedding. He, uh, cancer took him. And, uh, but he gave me a piece of advice that served me well. And uh, my sister's here with her fiance. And uh, I feel like honor bound to share with every man out there who's in a relationship or about to get married. And uh, I think it'll serve you well too. As a man in a relationship, you have a simple choice. You can either be right or you can be happy. Right? You can't be both. Don't even try. Look at these old timers over here. They'll tell you. They're like, mmm. I don't care what she says. Don't argue with her. She's right. You don't care. You don't care. You don't care. You simply don't care. She could tell you some stupid, you know, just stupid stuff, okay? I don't care. She can tell you that there's three planets in the solar system and the sun revolves around the earth. Go, really? I had no idea. What'd you see that on Discovery Channel? I heard about that, yeah. You don't care. Don't correct her. Don't you correct her. Oh, ha, 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 ha. You correct her, you'll see how much you really didn't care. <laughs> you'll lose out on a lot of stuff, okay? Like our favorite thing, okay? Because happy is the good place to be on. It's a nice train. It leads to oral land, okay? <laughs> right? There's no oral <laughs> on that right train where you had to be right. Ask your woman when you're not here. Ask her later on. Ask her if she'll suck it and be wrong at the same time. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's never happening, is it, girls? No, -uh. not for one second. Never gonna happen. <laughs> Don't correct her. You won't know what you did. You'll do something, you know, little bitty, like, you know, she'll be talking to her friend. Oh, especially when she's in front of her friend. Okay. Oh. Little bitty correction. Okay. You know, we're going to the show. We're gonna leave it around six. And you can just go up to her and go, actually, baby, we're leaving at 5.30. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you don't know what you just did, do you, fellas? <laughs> All you young guys do not understand what just happened. Because you're going to be, oh, later on that night, and you're going to be like, hey, hey, how about a little... <laughs> You want me to do what? 
<laughs> you want me, the dumb bitch, to do that, huh? Remember me earlier today when I was the dumb bitch and you had to crate me in front of my friend? You stupid ass, I hate you. Suck it yourself, how about that? You don't even know what happened. You're like, what? Because you had to be right. You don't have to be right. So, be happy, not right, and get TiVo. <laughs> TiVo will save your relationship. It will. Fellas, you ever have this happen to you? You're watching your favorite show? For me, it's Sports Center. Ba -na -na, da -na -na. <laughs> happy, right? You're not making a sound in the world, just happy. And somehow that noise pisses women off to no end, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it, girls, that noise? Da -na -na. What the hell is that son of a bitch doing? <laughs> Just sitting there on the damn couch, watching Sports Center, wasting his damn time. We could be talking about my mother. <laughs> I'm going to put a stop to this crap. Right? Fellas, you don't even know the hurricane's coming. You're just in the... Then that's when they give us a non-time-dependent chore that we have to go perform. There's no necessity for this chore. There's no urgency. But we got to go do it. And she sounds real sweet. They always sound sweet when they first tell us about this, the chore. Sugar or honey in front of it. Baby, can you take out the trash? Now, girls, you need to know right now, we heard everything, two things, okay. Number one, we heard everything you just said. Baby, can you take out the trash? We heard that. Two, we're not gonna acknowledge you. <laughs> we're gonna act like we did not hear it. But that's not our fault, that's instinctual. That goes back when we were cavemen and hunter and gatherers in the woods and a predator came by. It, we would have gotten eaten if we'd have made a move or acknowledged them. No, we just... This is science. <laughs> so, we don't acknowledge you, okay? So now, yeah, exactly. Women are like, look at that son of a bitch. Didn't even hear what I said. He never listens to me. That m I'm going to rip his ass off. And that's when you raise it up a level, okay? Uh, can you take out the trash? Now, on the second time you request us to do the non-time-dependent chore, all you get is this. <laughs> That's the look, okay? It's like we're trying to hold the runner at third, right, fellas, okay? <laughs> what the look is, is <laughs> we're telling you, hey, I heard everything you said. I'll do it as soon as there's a commercial break or as soon as my show's over. No problem. That's what it means to us. <laughs> but you girls take the look as, he just told me to shut up, bitch. <laughs> We didn't. We totally didn't. We totally didn't. But that's what you take it as. So you get oh, throw. Oh God, a tantrum. Have you ever had this, fellas? Isn't this amazing? How a 120-pound woman can stand in the middle of a 65-inch TV and block it com from complete view with the most amazing timing to stop you from seeing the play of the day. Isn't that amazing how they can just stand in front of them and they just lose it, okay? You son of a bitch, you take out that damn trash and you don't love me. I remember two years ago when you were a jerk and my mama said I should never marry you. She was right. You're a bastard. I hate you. You do. Okay. Now she's just run the play of the day. So we gotta wait a whole nother hour to see it on the next sports center. So now we're pissed, okay? So now we've been treated like this, so we gotta raise it up a level. Oh, now the trash is stinking. How about, uh, I don't know, two hours ago, we were on watching Lifetime Channel, Golden Girls. Ooh, that crazy Blanche. Yeah, we were sitting here on the damn sofa, getting our periods and dropping eggs and everything. Oh, that's what, that, that trash wasn't stinking a bit then when you wanted to watch something on TV, but when Tommy wants to watch something, oh, oh, we gotta clean the whole flipping house. 
Yeah, I'll take it for trash. I want you to get some of your crap and take it out too, bitch. <laughs> All right. Same thing with TiVo. Okay? You ready? Big difference. Da na na, da na na. Um, can you take out the trash? <laughs> Again, we don't acknowledge you on the first one. We're hoping you'll get women's ADD and go do something else. <laughs> um, can you take out the damn trash? <laughs> bloop, bloop. Love to. Bloop, bloop. Da -na -na, da -na -na. <laughs> See the difference? No argument.